yeah. let's let's get on with the program anyway let's maybe include that in the program <laughs> next time start the bot <laughs> there we go <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, and so the Hello Vimmo program is actually, you probably noticed it's delayed, but I will post that um, within the next day. Or two, or three. Um, <laughs> no, it'll be done, if, if not uh, today, tomorrow, in the S chat, S plus chat. That's the uh, Hello Vimmo recording from Wednesday. Yep, yep. A little busy today on, uh, to put that one in, but uh, maybe I can do that tomorrow when I'm watching the, the game, uh, the England Spain game. The final, the Women's World Cup final. <clears throat> the third place game, or I guess, yeah, the third place game is. Oh, that tomorrow. must have been. To, oh, is it on Sunday, the final, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. the final Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good point. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe I'll just do it tomorrow when I'm not watching the, the third place there game. You go. There you go. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, no, no, no offense to Australia and was it Sweden? Yeah, the, uh, yeah. the runners yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Um, okay. So uh, on our on our schedule, we've just got a short recap on some recent events. Um, so actually, something quite interesting interesting has been happening down in um, Argentina. Um, so I don't know if people know about Miss Power being one of our team members. I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, do some Twitter sharing. Um, yeah, there's a big, big Ethereum conference going on um, in Buenos Aires right now, and um, they've got, you know, some some bigger sponsors like Decentraland, Arbitrum, Worldcoin, um, some folks like that. So, um, a couple of members of our LATAM team were able to uh, connect it down there, and uh, yeah, Oliver, if you click on his screen, you can see um, some of the posts from Miss Powa's Twitter feed. Yeah, so she's been doing a little, just a little bit of networking down there with kind of like ETH communities and uh, people. <clears throat> this project's ZK Sync. That's a layer two ETH project. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of jealous actually that she's getting that, getting to chat to people. And there's uh, that was a, a, a video appearance from Vitalik. Yes. Yep. Um, I guess we're gonna have to get more more you know in tune with what Vitalik's saying now that we're moving on to ETH. <laughs> right, right. Um, I have to listen to every, every word of Vitalik. <laughs> um, Vitalik Buterin. And um, I'm not sure who this is, Roos Crypto. But yeah, for, for, for the LATAM team, this is good. I mean, they'll, they'll be looking for like people to go on their Twitter spaces um, and obviously talking to people about, about Vimworld and uh, trying to bring people into the Vimworld community down at this, uh, this, this ETH um, Argentina conference. Um, yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think just that's doing, yeah. yeah, doing some recon, just helping us start to understand, you know, that community down there better because we've gone from, um, you know, working on the BNB side of things to, you know, as Oliver was saying, moving on to Ethereum. We want to be able to understand the community down there. There's a, uh, there's Dali. Here we go. I missed this one. <laughs> Here's yeah. Paolo in, in uh, Dali. Dali's there today and tomorrow, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it seems like a big conference and like a lot of people down in uh, South America that are interested in crypto. Even the president of, of uh, Argentina, we saw was yeah. saying that central banks are a scam. So that's, um, it's probably going to be quite potentially very big um, in those countries. Or one of, yeah, one of, the, one yeah. of the candidates, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. the, 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 the uh, Millet, yeah. yeah. Um, although he's got some very interesting opinions on like other things as well, which I didn't realize. Right. Right. <laughs> There's thing about left tards it just had me, had me in stitches so he's oh my gosh very aggressively uh, anti sort of woke left sort of yeah type yeah candidate which i don't know i'm not sure if that's a good recipe um but uh anyways <laughs> no no snowflakes allowed yeah yeah <laughs> in argentina <laughs> if he's president um yeah anyways, they've got i mean um, they've yep. obviously got like a very interesting you know like I mean, they've got uh, some serious economic challenges that they're facing down there. So crypto has been a big part of um, a lot of people's journey. So trying to understand ways that, you know, as Vimworld migrates to Ethereum, uh, Ethereum, are there opportunities for um, us to expand our presence and utilize um, just kind of that, that growing like anti, yeah. like tr TradFi kind of sentiment, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, doing some work down there on that. 
this is becoming very well known and wide, widely adopted, right? Some of these crypto applications for people to manage their, their finances. Right. So yep. certainly something, um, yeah, to to look at as a hot as a hot market. Um, okay, so let's um, move on. Um, so just wanted to sort of advertise and plug Ludo's new spaces um, sort of series. So Ludo, um, because of his work commitments, is not doing them at the same time every week. Uh, so the next one that Ludo is hosting is going to be at, uh, I think it's, well, I'm not say let's not say a time. For, for me, it's at 1.30 p.m., but that's um, whatever time that is for you. But that's on that's going to be on Thursday, uh, August 24th, uh, the next one. So you can um, go on Ludo, Ludo's page and just uh, set a reminder um, for that one. And um, these are well worth it. I mean, Ludo is probably going to drop yeah. a poem, which uh, <laughs> is always good. So he... He did it probably his best one yet on the first edition. <laughs> you you yeah. probably haven't listened to it yet, Jason. Have you been? No, I finally did. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, so that part of yeah. the point of yeah. these Ludo ones, right, is that they're on a different time zone to Jason. Right? Right. They're usually right. going to be like Argent um, Argentina. They're going to be like Saturday. four four thirty a.m. my time on Thursday. <laughs> uh, yeah, like but Australia friendly, and um, right. we had an Australian guest there on the first one um, from another industry project. And I think Ludo is going to try to bring in different personalities right in that, into that uh, series. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, just to make everyone aware of those. Yeah, his, um, his uh, creativity has definitely uh, exploded with, uh, with his Twitter spaces now and the, uh, the poetic, you know, verses that he's able to come up with. I mean... It's really impressive stuff. If you guys haven't heard it, check out uh, check out the past stream, and then we've got in our uh, our Hello Vim world from the previous couple of weeks. Uh, he uh, he did some poetic rendition there as well. So it's good yeah. fun. Good fun. Very very impressive, given that it was like two a.m. or later, right, on his time zone, when he was yeah. like reci reciting to us this this poetry, which he did without many mistakes. So yeah, exactly. very good, very capable new member with Ludo. Um, cool. And, um, yeah, I, I guess I just have like a note here in the, um, the recap here, just to say, you know, the team is basically very focused now on this, this ETH launch and so building out the features and preparing for the launch in terms of marketing preparations. And if that's, that's, that's the reason why you might see like a lower cadence of social activity, right. From, from the team, it's just that we're, we're heads down, um, all yeah. of us. Um, revising, feet, uh, you know, texts and just making sure everything is going to be ready um, and, and making our plans and preparations for, for this upcoming thing. But we should start seeing some activity in the next few weeks uh, leading up to that launch. Um, yeah. Yeah, there'll be some... Uh, we'll see if, uh, if maybe Cream wants to tease some of that stuff, but there will be uh, yeah. some stuff leading up to the launch um, that everyone will be able to participate in. Um, we're also looking at... Um, getting the new box up in the store. Um, so hoping to get some news out for that in the next couple of days. But yeah, I mean, really, really exciting stuff, um, both from just like the the launch. We've talked about it a little bit in the Hello Vim World episodes, um, teased a little bit of it out there. But, um, you know, ETH, ETH really starting to become like the DeFi side of Vim World. It's just really exciting um, thinking about the the possibility of what, our community will be able to do on both both BNB chain and uh, and on ETH. Yeah, I mean, I'm the more the more I learn about it, the more excited I am. I'm really looking at like I don't you know the pro problem is we've had so many cliches in the past about the number of users, but I feel like this is going to be a platform that let's just say anybody in crypto could potentially use. Yeah. Um, so I don't you know I think it's silly to maybe say numbers in public, and we've been like criticized in the past about that, but like there's a logical there are logical reasons why anyone in who has holds crypto um apart from maybe very few people <laughs> like ultra bitcoin maxis i don't know but apart from that you know like there's there's credible yeah. reasons that people will be interested in this product so that's like very much an excitement um for for me in terms yeah. of what we can do uh, marketing wise yeah. and how we try to just try to reach those people Right. That's um, yeah, it's it's just a big it's not only like from that logical, like value add perspective, but just from like the engaging fun, like 
you know, get involved and not just sit there and stake some tokens and watch your APY number, you know, every week. It's like an opportunity for people to 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 do that if they want, but then get that value add and then also include that that component of just like having fun and you know having this uh, having this vim that they can grow and nurture. Um, so, yeah, lots lots of exciting stuff to talk about um, in the coming weeks here as we get up uh, to launching everything and uh, releasing the the kind of like the pre launch uh, period. So. We're getting there. Yeah. We're close. Okay, and now we're getting close to the actual power burn part, I think. Um, so I'm just going to quickly bring up the power burn um, article. Yeah. Um, so uh, we'll just quickly review what's happening um, today. Um, so so this is um, I probably you guys, let's see who's in here. Uh, most of you will be, will be aware of But basically when people um, either start egg incubations when they boost their eggs, either with the small boost or the big boost, then the power gets, um, that's like a payment to a VimWorld wallet. Um, and that's accumulating. And, you know, we've said that when we reach certain numbers, we talked about 50 million, now we're at 110 plus million, 111 million, um, then we'll, we'll look to have these, these burnings. And so as we promised in the original power launch article, uh, all of the, power that's collected through these means um, gets burnt and even yeah. through future um, you know fees and payments that people make in power on the vimod site um, and you know we'll, we'll obviously like make it clear which ones are and which ones aren't under that category I guess in the future um, but for now any payment that you make in power goes towards this wallet and then that's what that's what we're what we're burning um, so so we're at um, in this in this one, it's 110, 111 million. We previously burned about 53 million. Um, so we're, we're now um, at around 164 million um, power. Well, after this burn, um, we going will, to the dead address. Yeah, yep. yeah which is, is going to end up being about 57.2% of the total supply of power, um, sort of at, <laughs> at the time when I wrote this article, but it, it hasn't changed. Um, that much since then yep. um so this you know as we were saying this is good i mean we are basically keeping up with a ratio right of what's being burned and like as more power gets made more is burned and um people are yeah i mean power is doing what it's supposed to do right people are getting value from it um and uh and using it and that's um that's great to see yeah yeah i know quite a few people that swap power for feed and use that to feed um, in addition to some of those other like direct utilities that, that you talked about that the power token has in which you can start in incubating eggs and boosting egg incubation and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's just a great mechanism to have in place to where we, you know, are continuously capping that, you know, can, uh, circulating supply or that, that existing supply that's out there um, as a token that just continues to, to mint and accrue yeah in and real this time is, <laughs> so this is just something i thought i'd bring up just to make this a little interesting like this is this is basically the number of times so this is not the amount of power but like this is the number of times people have been spending oh, power yeah, the events. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 like the number of events right so we've had like about um nearly four thousand incubations started using power nice um around seven thousand small boosts and around 350 big boosts. And um, I think the reason behind that is probably that the small boost is easier, right? Because it's when, when you get to the point where you want to boost, then the big boost is already grayed right. out, right? Because right. it's like, you have to, that's a, only available for the first half. So like, <laughs> I think for me, it's always like the last few days where I'm tempted to use the small boost personally, um, just to get the, get it over the line. Um, and I guess that's what we see kind of playing out overall. Yeah, I'm more I'm more of that combo person. I'll start the egg incubation and then I'll do a few of the big boosts to get the, uh, you know, because at that point, like when you first start out, especially if it's a, a higher tier egg, you're looking at yeah, saving like, good. you know, 180 hours off that time. So you're dropping incubation time uh, by like five days. So that's always worth it um, yeah, yeah. right at I've the get go. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then like you said, kind of the same thing as you get closer. It's like, oh, can I wait three more days? No, I just got to open it now. 
boost, boost, that boost, was, and done. That was free, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, well exactly. <laughs> and if you're if you're fairy, I mean, he's just like it's just boosting all the time, right? I don't think he's he's waited to incubate an egg for more than ten seconds. So I was laughing when Kang Shifu suggested making the next. Uh, Box available in for 500k power and and uh, Ferry's like no way. I was thinking, oh man, Ferry Ferry did all his boosts, so he's it's not been st- stacking the power. Yeah, it's just it's just too much fun, right? Like obviously <laughs> having having that power and you can look, you know, you look in your rewards dashboard and you're like, oh, I'll just I'll just accrue some more. It'll take me another week. I'll get back up to this number. I just got to use it. So I mean, that's that's what the the token was designed for, right? Like that. That yeah, uh, yeah. that pure utility and just you know being able to play with it. So yeah, I mean if you've got SX Vims, you're in good shape, right? Because you're just generating right. so much power and Wukongs and stuff like this. So right, right. Um, yeah. Um, right. Let me see. Back to the schedule. Um, Okay, so yeah, I've got here work out the dollar value of the power being burned. So we think it's about thirty k worth. Um, USD at this point. So that mostly just tells you that if that's 57% of the power or 47% of the current power circulating, then, you know, that tells you that power's market cap is still very low. And um, I think at some point, something's got to give on that. But I mean, we can't give financial advice. Um, but if you say Veed has a has a market cap like 19, 20 million and yeah. Uh, power has a market cap of 30k, then there's like a massive disparity there, isn't there? So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, the market cap is even higher than that. I think it's like over 75k, like looking at the pool info from Pancake Swap. So, um, in the, but they are uh, on Pancake Swap, they, um, they don't count the burnt stuff, I think. So then it's, yeah, so then it's even higher. So yeah, like looking at this graphic, we'd be burning about 75k worth um, of USDT in power. So it's a big number either either way in terms of like the number of tokens and the percent of the, the supply that's getting burned. And, and like you said, I mean, it's uh, when you look at look at where that token sits in relation to VEED and, and its utility as it exists on VimWorld now and the potential for that utility in the future. Um. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's it's time. <laughs> if we have a cream available, and then you're going to pull up. <laughs> yes, BSC I've got BSC scan. I've got BSC scan here. So let me just refresh. Um. So this is. Let me see. Yeah, this is the wallet. Uh, yeah, so the current balance of this wallet is 111,692,000. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 692,000 uh, power. Um, so, and you can see here, like, the, the latest sort of egg incubations and the boosts coming in, coming into this wallet. Um, so, Cream, are you ready to burn? Yeah. Cool. Here we go. We're good. So how do I how do I do this? Do I just do I just send it to dead? <laughs> yes. Do you want me to find that contract? Uh, sorry, that uh, that, address. that wallet address. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Please. I think I've got it. I think I've got it here. Um, although it's, it's, a, although it's a pretty easy one. I think it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but yeah. it's just. Um... Oh yeah. I think if we just go to the uh, sorry. King Shifu said he'll he'll help and send you the address. <laughs> <laughs> Token track uh, holders, oh, yeah, because like like the biggest oh, holder oh, of power oh, is oh, this one. Yeah, that's it. So I can just whack it. <laughs> so it's in the Discord chat. Do you want me to send you that uh, elsewhere? Uh, just send send me send me our teams. Okay. Coming through. Yeah, Ferry was saying he he's uh, spent more than four million power in boosting, which is pretty epic. 
Well, I mean, that's what it's there for. All right. So I am going to initiate two dead power token. Max. Send. Is this the napalm scene? Yeah, I'm hoping <laughs> I got this chip right. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> the smell of napalm in the morning. Wrong password. Okay, let me find another one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to watch uh, Sergeant Robert Duvall here. Apocalypse now. All right, it's gone. Do you, get... <laughs> Do you hear the, uh, the audio or not? No, no audio. No, no, it doesn't. Seventy seventy six thousand dollars worth of power burned. Woo, right. Let's look at it. Burn, baby, burn. There we go. 27 seconds ago. Wow. I love the smell of no palm in the morning. <laughs> 111... Million six hundred and ninety two thousand. How many times do we burn? That's number so two. Far, so far, we've had three um, burns. So, this one, this was the stuff that people use for voting, if you remember. Oh, right, right. That was the one that you did, right? Oh, that's right. a dot. Right. That's, so that, that's, a, that's a dot after yeah. that. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that, exactly. wasn't, that wasn't classified as a great I burn. Okay, that was one like... million. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was a mini burn. So Baby we've burn. done fifty-two mil, and then now we're doing you know one hundred and eleven. Cool. Yeah. I think I think this. Uh, I think our very calculated tokenomics is working out. Sort yeah. of. Fifty-seven well, couple, percent of the total. With, uh, couple with work, what we're gonna have on Ethereum. Um, I think I think power is nicely designed, to say the least. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with that, how we've kept that ratio so far, right? It's, it's really nice. And just, I can just see it getting closer and closer, you know, like the amount um, burnt versus amount circulating. Well, it's gonna, we're we're going to have, we're going to add a massive utility uh, once we get on to Ethereum. Um, and the, our Ethereum, the application is going to be, uh, Almost, I mean, I wouldn't say completely, but like almost completely revamped, and it's going to make a lot more sense um, as a product. Uh, through all these years of just thinking about, you know, what the fuck is Vim, and now I think we have a pretty solidified idea of what it is and how it can help both our users and humanity as a whole. Yeah. So, it's going to be pretty nice. Yeah. I've been I've been MIA for the past a month or something. Um, not because I'm not thinking I'm working on Vimworld, but because I'm thinking I'm wor working on Vimworld too much, um, and in a place where getting on Discord is is a bitch. So I just decided to just you know just focus. Yeah. And now I'm back, so I will from time to time uh, bother all of you and. Uh, Welcome feedback and welcome comments and all that. And I will be responding going forward. Yeah. And yeah, also, and also, um, I am I am going to uh, revamp. Um, I think I think I'm uh, I'm going to revamp the uh, the the egg drop rate again, and. Uh, uh, you know, first you can see a glimpse of that with the the box that's coming up um, sometime next week, or or the week week after. So sometimes in the next yeah. ten days, um, we're going to have a new. Um, I, I I will say sort of a testing the waters uh, box where we're gonna, um, I guess in, increase the drop rate by by quite a bit. We'll see what happens. Um, so increase the drop of, of higher tier eggs, you mean? Or, um... Um, we are going to increase the drop rate of high tier eggs and also increase the drop rate of high tier companions. Okay. Again. Nice. Yeah. Even even revamp some of the companions. I mean, just just bear in mind that this is an ongoing process. 
and we are going to um you know change over time that's just that's a promise it's a promise that uh we're going to keep and it's a to, to you know it's a it's a promise that Vimworld will be revamped to the point where it's going it, it's going to be perfect perfectly balanced that's the that's the promise and uh you know that's what we're going to be keep working towards yeah that's one of the reasons why i love them well to be honest is that it's not like we just drop something and that's done right like we don't just say like okay yeah this this is over right it's more like okay we'll put this out there see what people think and then there's always feedback coming in considering the next designs and the next evolution right of the of the product yeah yeah i mean that's always the challenge when you're building a company that's never you know had a pre predecessor in a way you know we're we're pioneering we're trying to innovate and we're putting products together that haven't been done before. So we're learning as we go. So that feedback from our, our community is very much appreciated. So like one, of the, one of the, one of the, a lot of the suggestions I got from uh, my trip and from elsewhere is to, so, you know, I, I am going to obviously create, we are going to create documents and marketing materials and explainer explainer materials to let our community know, you know, what is Vimworld 4.0 and what is Ethereum uh, Vimworld, uh, what is virtual uh, investment minions and and all that. Uh, but um, I, I don't think I will be writing something like a very comprehensive, you know, like a white paper or business plan um, to to kind of spill my guts on what we're going to be doing. And uh, we'll, we'll get to a point where everybody understands what we're doing, but I'm going to leave like a lot of the details uh, out of the documents, just FYI, because um, there are a lot of teams uh, around the world where, you know, they're literally waiting to to copy the next next thing and i don't want our ideas to be stolen yeah that makes sense yeah. you know that was one of the first things i thought when i saw about the designs for 4.0 was that this is actually yes a threat is people will try to copy it right quite quickly um in some ways so <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> the opportunity yeah which is a great thing but it's like yeah this idea is a good one and ideas you know good ideas they don't, you know, people, yeah, yeah grab them. copycats quick. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, we will figure out a ways to obviously let you guys know when we launch or before we launch, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, we will, we'll try to guard it, guard our you know, trade secrets um, only for the benefit of everybody that is that is part of the community. Yeah. And we want to protect everybody's uh, upside, you know. So yeah. and that's that, and that's all I gotta say, really. Um, today. Yep. Sounds good. No, we have a, uh, yeah, our our four point yeah. is it's a it's due launch in uh, later of September or early October. Yep. But um, our timeline also includes things happening towards that, which the community will see right within the next few weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna put everyone to work. We want uh, we want you guys to have the opportunity to help us share what we're doing, spread the word, um, get new people interested and excited in what we're building on Ethereum. So there'll be opportunities for for everyone here to do that. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we're we're looking for a a massive launch um, with all of that coming into play. So very exciting stuff. Yeah, so to answer Constable's question, uh, new box next week. Uh, and then we are going to prepare for a big event prior to launch. Um, that's part of the launch. And the explainer and the, you know, the, the stuff will be will be thrown out then. Thrown out to the world. And then, yep. uh, and then we have our launch. All right, so just stay tuned and uh, do your thing. Yeah. Um, 
if you could get to uh, S10, do that. Uh, if you have <laughs> if you have spare money, get get some Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oliver and I were talking about that yesterday. Oh yeah, Ethereum is for the big boys. I mean, I was, yeah. you know, it, once you start traveling and talking to the top guys, then then like a realization set in is that like a lot of the really well off guys, they just don't care about anything other than Ethereum. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. And that's that for me. Cool. Yeah. No, thank oh, you sorry. so much. Yep. Thank you for everyone uh, joining us and witnessing uh, our second great power burn. We're, uh, like you said, going to continue to to be a little more heads down getting ready for this. But yeah, stay tuned over the next week or two. Um, we will be sharing updates, info, events. Um, we'll have probably some more update on our next Hello Vim World next Wednesday. So be sure to join us next Wednesday um, at the same time. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you all then. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you later. Cheers. Cheers, guys.